Hey guys, it's Madam Wario. Welcome back to yet another interview to help you get to know one of the gamers behind the Stacked Game Marathon. Introducing Madam Wario. Hey guys, it's Madam Wario, also known as Big Bobo here on the interwebs. During this year's Stack Game Marathon, I am hosting the Fall Guys event as well as co-hosting the Mario Party Superstars event. I was also responsible for being super nosy and getting all the hot goss for the interviews behind the scenes. What introduced you to the online gaming community? I just one day was like, I wonder if anybody has gameplay of Mario Party. So I found a video, clicked on it, and some guy started talking over it, and I'm like, what is this? Um, that guy was the one and only Slim Kirby. So Slim was the first Let's Player I started watching, and fast forward to the beginning of 2010, I was like, I want to do this, I want to figure out how to make videos like this, this seems like so much fun. So I started making Let's Plays, and from there, connected with different people, which led me to the Blarg Pit chat room at the time, which was a small community of Let's Players on YouTube that I thought were like so untouchable and would never talk to me or be friends with me, but they were so welcoming. It just kind of from there, you know, here we are, however many years later, still going strong. And now I'm on Twitch, just living the dream. So it's been quite a journey, but I love it. Do you have a streamer or let's player who you look up to? My answer is going to be super cheesy for this because I look up to so many different people. I can't even just name one, but I will show favoritism and name one right off the bat. And that is Odin Speck for being my biggest inspiration now of the content that I create. He's always so supportive and I've never seen anyone so passionate about games and the whole gaming realm that I gotta give props up to him. All of my friends in the Puddles community, you all inspire me. I lurk at your streams. I love you guys so much. You're all such amazing people and I'm so lucky to have you all in my life that I just, I'm inspired constantly by um, the passion and the humor and everything behind um, all that we do online and in the community. I just, I'm so inspired to keep going by the love that is shared within that group. And um, I gotta give it up also to the early days back in um, those who were part of the blog pit that um, just welcomed me with open arms to this community. You guys have no idea how much you have changed my life, honestly. If you were a video game controller, which would you be? Anatomically, a GameCube controller, and my community will know why, but when it comes to just personality and, and the vibe behind who I am, I'd probably be like a see-through N64 controller. I could also be one of those Game Boys that's like transparent, like the, the purple see-through Game Boy color because of the screen that just, I feel like I wear a lot of my emotions and thoughts and opinions on my face, so that would be like the screen. Yeah, maybe I'd be a Game Boy Color that's see-through, because here's the screen. I don't know. I, I would be some kind of combination <laughs> of a Game Boy Color and a really, you know, hot N64 controller. Well, thank you so much for the absolutely amazing state-of-the-art interview. Do you have any final words of encouragement for the Stacked Game Marathon community watching? I just want to give it up to Odin Speck, first of all, for coming up with this event. And I just want to thank everybody watching who's donated, who has uh, spread the word, been active in the chat, you know, playing the role of um, the audience. Uh, we love you guys. Thank you so much. I love you guys um, for making this event what it is and to everybody working behind the scenes who has put so many hours into making this possible. Just you guys are the best. All the love to all of you. All right, give it up for Madame Wario, everybody. Thank you so much.